And I'll be back with another part of Final Fantasy VII. And in this part, we're going to go straight into the plot. Where do we go next? The sad music. Oh dear, someone died, didn't they? Somebody died? Oh god, I died. Wait, what? The Shinra Hava. This is Aerith's theme. Or Ares theme. It's quite a sad little piece of music, isn't it? You probably can't hear it that well because the sound quality is shite when it comes to the music. Uh, but you know what it's called, so if you want to listen to it, just Google search it, I suppose. One day, I went to the station because I got a letter saying he was coming home on leave. That's the husband, by the way. But there was no one there. <gasps> What's that? If you look on the bottom left there, there's uh, Biggs and Jesse. Which makes me think that Biggs was probably a soldier at one point. Of some sort. Right. Punk girl husband. Now this is one of the strangest things I think I've ever seen. This is supposed to be completely serious. What? That must be one strong little lady. No more, I'm afraid. He seems just as upset as she does. Strange. I think this is mentioned somewhere in Final Fantasy Crisis Core, but I can't remember off the top of my head. It's been a while since I played that as well, and my uh, PSP disc is a bit too fucked up to go check. Oh dear. It's mini Aerith. <laughs> you used to see this sort of thing a lot during the war. Her last words were, Please take Ares somewhere safe. My husband never came back. I had no child. I was probably lonely. So I decided to take her home with me. Ares and I became close very quickly. That child loved to talk. She used to talk to me about everything. <laughs> I've had my first period today, mother. Lovely! She told me that she escaped from some kind of research laboratory somewhere and that her mother had already returned to the planet so she wasn't lonely and many other things. Oh god, when did we get back here? Return to the planet? Yeah, that line gets tossed around a lot during this game. But she said it was this planet. She was a mysterious child in many ways. <laughs> Wait, she came back. You lied to her. She hasn't been captured. So, please don't cry. Ares just blooded that oil of the sun. And when I asked her if something happened, someone dear to you has just died. I do not. His spirit was coming to see you, but he had already returned to the planet. At that time, I didn't believe her. But... Several days later, we received a notice saying my husband had died. You know, if my kid came up to me and said somebody close to you has just died and then I got a letter about it, I think I'd be willing to sell her to a psychic. <laughs> Whoa, I have a psychic daughter. I can make money off this. Hmm, maybe. No, not jumping. Not cracker. Though. That would have made that would have made that a lot less serious if he sacked if she sack tapped him just the crack. The way here, Sun found him. She probably couldn't get away fast enough. She decided to go in Shimra in exchange for the little girl's safety. Must be Marlene. <laughs> what? I'm surprised he didn't rock it up the stairs. I don't got an answer. Hmm. 
There was some powerful words there. Oh yeah. Yeah, you don't actually have to talk to him here. You can just leave right away, but for plot, I will talk to him. You're gonna go help Ares, right? She's done so much for me. She's taken your kid from the pub to here. That's all she did. Ares was asking me a lot of questions, like what kind of person Ivory is. I bet she likes you, Ivory. I don't. Well, let's hope so. Woo! <laughs> Let's roll. Prepare for the worst. Well, going into the belly of the beast usually does prepare for the worst. I mean, you've got their entire headquarters where they most probably have their scientific experiments. They probably have their you know, monsters, their entire army, robots, like the giant scorpion, which was easy to kill, but still. <sighs> yeah, just run right in there. There ain't no train that goes up there anymore. Oh dear, I guess we'll have to climb somehow. Huh, I wonder how. Well, there's only one thing to do. Wait a minute, now that I think about it, I said in an earlier video that I had to go through this area three times. Yes, I was correct. Three times. Oh yeah, called it easy. Is this the floating house? Please tell me it's the house. Yes! This is one enemy that I really wanted to fight. I don't know why, it's just a house. Right. Right. Oh god, it's a demon house! Oh, you bastard, you tricked me. There's not much else you can, can actually do down here in terms of item gathering and stuff, but I believe there was a new shop open that you couldn't actually use before. Here. Mm. Ah, yes, he has woken up. Good, so I can get myself some more material if I want to. Tempted to get another restore. Uh, yeah, why not? More magic recovery is always good. But no more space fights, so we'll avoid that for now. Whoa, wait, there's a gap there? I did not actually know there was a gap there. Since I'm here as well, I may need to sell some items. Good, good, good. You have to buy this, by the way. Don't be 
Not if I get that first motherfucker. Close. What's that say? Averly? Averly? <laughs> like a normal wire. Oh yeah? Well to me it looks like a sh golden shiny wire of hope. You're right. I do a lot of climbing in this game. Jesus. I still have a volcano exploded over there. Oh well. I really hate this area. It takes too long. Ah, uh, that's good logic, considering it's connected to it. But I didn't know propellers worked on batteries. How convenient if it stops at the exact point at which I can get over. I wonder what caused this area to be like this anyway. It doesn't look like it'd be something that would happen naturally over time. But maybe that's just me. Nope. I'm pressing the wrong button. I'm pressing the wrong button. My bad people. Now this is the part I hate the most. I really hate this part. See if I can get it first time this time. Probably not, but no. Jump too soon. Huh. Oh, if you happen to go up there and use it, one of your batteries, you will gain an ether. That was too soon. This bit's always messed me about as a kid as well. I got it that time. But maybe not. So much climbing. My arms hurt. It makes my arms hurt. <sighs> Finally at the Shinra building, and it only took me what? Seven parts? Six, seven parts? Hmm. Very good. Now there's two ways we can go about getting in here. We can either break through the front entrance or we can go up the side path. Most people go through the front because it nets you a lot of experience and not very many people go left because there's not much to do there apart from some amusing dialogue. So I'm going to leave it off here and see if anyone actually comments and tells me which way to go. So let's just read this dialogue. But the 60 is special and not easy to get to. Even for employees, it must be where they took care of. Yeah, I'd say so. Something important. You're gonna keep them on a high floor where no one else can go. I know that pretty card here. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna leave it here. So, until next time, farewell.